This video is about transforming your attitude. I'd like to start by sharing a story. There were two bricklayers at work laying bricks. The first bricklayer looked extremely bored as he laid one brick on top of the other. The second bricklayer, on the other hand, was doing exactly the same job, but he was full of energy and seemed very motivated. The first bricklayer was asked, what are you doing? And he said, I'm laying bricks. The second bricklayer was asked the same question. And he said, oh, I'm building the biggest cathedral in the city. Do you see the difference? That's attitude. The first bricklayer could not find a higher purpose to what he was doing. So in his experience and in his mind, what's the big deal about laying bricks? So he was bored. But the second bricklayer could see the bigger picture. He knew that he was part of something big, a small part, but an important part nonetheless. Now, the second bricklayer is likely to take more of an interest in seeing how the different aspects of the cathedral came together, the design of the cathedral, and he's likely to be the one to ask questions and just really stay on top of things. Now, if there's an opportunity for a higher job, who do you think would be more prepared? Definitely the second bricklayer, because he would most likely be more qualified because he would be more informed because he took more of an interest, and that's because he had the right attitude. I often speak to people in my coaching um, that mention the fact that where I am now is not where I want to be. And therefore, I'm demotivated, I'm just coasting, I'm not really giving my all because this is not really where I want to be. I'm not particularly motivated by this. But where you are now is all that you have right now. And that's an important starting point. If you want to go to the moon, you can only start from where you are. And where you are offers you something. It offers you an opportunity to grow, to build your networks, to show what you're made of. And you never know who's watching. You never know what's around the corner. So that when another opportunity comes, one that is more in line with what you believe you should be doing, you'll be prepared to take it on. The last thing you want to do is to just be demotivated and uh, you know, coasting, not necessarily applying yourself, just going through the motions, because in that way, you are wasting the opportunity. Attitude is so important that sometimes it can be the difference between success and failure, because you may have something good in your hand, but if you don't have the right attitude, you may lose it or not manage to grow it in any way. This may sound cliche, but it's true that your attitude does determine your altitude. Most opportunities open up from our current areas of engagement. One important attitude is that of gratitude. A number of us may be feeling inconvenienced by the current situation. Perhaps you've lost money, um, you've, your plans have been disrupted. But if you step back, and look at the bigger picture. Can you be grateful for your health? If we were not healthy, all those things won't matter. It's important to cultivate an attitude of gratitude because that frees you up to just really see all the blessings and the gifts around you. And if there are things not working the way you want them to, you're able to tackle them from a more empowered perspective. So it doesn't mean that you resign yourself to the way things are. What it means is that that attitude really energizes you and gives you the clarity to make the right decisions. There's a useful exercise that helps to develop an attitude of gratitude, and that is keeping a gratitude journal. At the end of each day, take some time to reflect on things that you're grateful for. Say three things. They can be simple things. Gratitude for your health and the health of those you care about. Gratitude for friendships and opportunities. Write them in your journal. In dealing with a feeling of helplessness in your current situation is to create an empowering context around it. You can do this by transforming your thinking in that situation. So 
looking for instance at what you can be grateful for thinking about what the situation offers and where your areas of influence are always see the bigger picture and the greater good that's what the second bricklayer in my story was doing when you expand your mind like that you're able to see opportunities a yes attitude to life is very healthy and it's essentially a bring it on type of attitude being open to explore possibilities i'd say it's, it's essentially saying yes to life and uh, i like to say take life with both hands